Here's a, a, a little video to show you how to replace a sprocket on a Nexus 8-speed hub. It would work as well on other internal gear hubs. The wheel's out of the Street Strider. Um, you can see here's the acorn nut. We're going to take that off first. The non-turn washer, right there. Non-turn washer. This is called the shifter cassette pulley with an arm that sticks out here to accept the cable housing. This is the lock ring on top of it. Notice the two yellow dots are separated. We'll put those together like this. And the lock ring comes off. The shifter cassette pulley underneath is inserted with all red dots in a line. We'll pull that off for right now. And the first thing you'll see underneath after that is a small plastic gasket or dust cap right here and we're going to wedge our screwdriver under that and lift it up. It's press fit over top of the edge of the hub housing. That comes off. The next thing that's after that is a split ring right here that actually holds the sprocket on. So the first thing we're going to do to get that off is wedge something down on the side and work our way around to get that split ring off. It's a little tricky because it's a springy piece of metal and be careful because it can it can propel itself up towards you. So I'm going to find the end of this split ring which is right here. There's the two ends and I'm going to take a sharp object. I like to use a, a ice pick and I'm going to put it down where one of these little of the three keyways are and I'm going to lift that up and start moving that split ring out of its groove. I'm going to follow up with a screwdriver here and work my way around with maybe two screwdrivers to lift this up and away from its position. Lift it up a little bit further. I'm going to put my fingers over this so it doesn't spring up very fast. All the way around. Okay, there's our split ring. It's off. You can see the little split in it right there. Okay, that will allow the sprocket to come off completely. You can see the three little keyways here that are standard in the industry for internal gear hubs. And underneath that is a metal gasket, or a metal shield I should say, that actually shields this set of seals right here. Now when you put a small sprocket on there, like a 14 tooth, you have to take this off. The smallest that Shimano recommends is 16, but in fact, without disturbing those seals, you can actually put a 14 tooth on there. That fits down to the keyways. The next thing we have to do is put that split ring back on. Now that's a little tricky, but you have to do it sort of the same way you started with the other one. Okay, I'm going to start by pushing a screwdriver on this side, down like that. And another screwdriver about 180 degrees on the other side of that and force it down into the groove, much the way we started taking it off. That side's already in. We just have to work our way around here. A little bit further. And now the split ring is in. Okay? That's all intact. It's all secured. Next thing to put back on is this little sort of um, dust cover and that sits back on in that direction so the wider part is towards the outside. That fits back down over top of that edge right there. Now to put our cassette pulley back on we're going to line up all red dots in one line like that and it snaps down on. And then without letting any pressure up on this put your yellow locking ring back on so that those yellow dots line up and then rotate this clockwise until it gets to its end position right there. Okay, cassette pulleys all the way on. We can then put our non-turn washer back on, our acorn nut, now we're ready to insert this back into the street strider. Now we have a 14 tooth on there instead of a 16 tooth. 
and that'll give you quite a bit more top end, a little more than 10% in terms of a gear change. All right, all ready to go.